Did you know that underwater volcano eruptions release enough energy to power all of these here United States? That's how we say it down here in Texas. That in a report at Study Finds. Now, when I was a kid, I loved these kinds of comparisons. And the story in science class they told us was that if you took all of the light generated by all of the starlight that has hit Earth, you know, besides our sun, and use that to energy to power a flashlight, it would be on for about a second. Now, I don't know if that was exactly true, but the point was the same. It does paint a picture for you. This volcano thing is pretty amazing. Deep sea volcanic eruptions were once believed to be boring in comparison to those on land. Check out this video here from our friends in NOAA. In January of 2022, there was a massive eruption near Tonga that caused a lot of damage with a shockwave that was heard and seen around much of the world and a tsunami that affected that local region. Well, what we're talking about here are those completely submerged underwater eruptions. Well, you know, the land-based volcanoes frequently erupt spectacularly, spreading volcanic ash throughout the surroundings. Oceanic eruptions were considered to exclusively generate lava streams that moved very slowly. However, data collected by self-driving vehicles in the depths of the Northeast Pacific represent fascinating findings. They reveal a connection between the way ash is scattered during underwater eruptions and the formation of dynamic columns of hot water referred to as megaplumes ascending from the bottom of the ocean. The University of Leeds researchers say these megaplumes, which include water abundant in chemicals, behave similarly to the air plumes observed from volcanoes on land. They rise and then move out as they distribute volcanic ash. And these megaplumes are massive with water quantities comparable to 40 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. They've been discovered over several underwater volcanoes. However, the source is unclear. The findings of this recent study reveal that they develop quickly during lava eruptions. So here's where the energy calculation comes in. Dr. David Ferguson of the School of Earth and Environment at Leeds, along with Dr. Sam Pegler of the School of Mathematics, both work to form a mathematical system that models the flow of ash from underwater eruptions. This model demonstrates the dispersion of ash several kilometers away from the volcano. They reconstructed the mechanics of a previous underwater eruption using the actual ash pattern that was left behind. This shows that the amount of energy generated and required to transport ash to the reported distances is enormous, equal to the electricity consumed by the entire United States. Now, they don't say for how long, but I presume that if that eruption continues you and you could harness that energy, that you could continue to power the United States of America. The discharge of energy to form a megaplume occurs so quickly that it must be provided by something other than just the erupted molten lava. That's according to the researchers. The study found that undersea volcanic eruptions cause stores of hot fluids inside the crust of the earth to rapidly deplete. This heated fluid is forced higher by the magma as it pushes its way to the sea floor. Researchers say that it's still extremely difficult to observe an undersea eruption. As the technology advances, scientists hope to gather more information about the dynamics of these elusive phenomena. We have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just click in the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com. Come on in. The water is fine and warm, probably because of a volcano. Have a great day.